Rice's men kidnapped Zara, raided his truck, and took all his gear. I just hope they didn't take all his research as well. I, I mean, I think they would, right? Why would you just kidnap a man and not his research? I feel like the research is what you can, like... Oh, surprise call from my mom. Train here. I could really use some GRE support right now. That's too bad, Agent Crane. This is the Ministry of Defense. The fuck? What the hell's going on? What happened to the GRE? The global relief efforts position here has been diminished. We are in charge now, and we have declared Haran a Code 1 target zone. Wait, 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 wait. Just hang on. You, you can't just carpet bomb this place. There are still hundreds of innocent people in here. Maybe thousands. Irrelevant. We're doing this to protect billions of lives. Surely you can understand that. Okay, okay just, just listen. There's this scientist in here named Zara, and he's been doing research on a cure, and he's really close. I've seen the research. If you bomb the city, just... Acknowledged. The chances of one scientist in a wrecked city coming up with useful results are negligible at best, but... You have 48 hours. Well, now we're getting bombed. Fantastic. Just what I needed in my fucking GRE experience. GRE, GRE agent experience. Y'all get any snacks in here? I'm really hungry. Thanks, brothers. Oh, good, I needed that five health. Whew. Batteries! Oh, I guess I take the elevator. Shit, it's broken. Maybe I could pry it open. Maybe I could use my parkour skills up the shaft. Oh, I guess we're going down. Oh. And we're in. What do you mean we're in? Oh. <laughs> so... We don't got time for that. You don't got time for your bullshit. Oh. All these military knives. Oh. Medkit supplies. Metal parts. Ass. Just what I needed at a time. Oh, more snacks. <gasps> More snacks. Hell yeah. Alright, but we're not going to be stealth operatives here. We're going to just fucking go in and fuck them up. I think I just hit the wall. Oh my god. So hear me out. I didn't realize there was a guy behind me. I don't- I honestly have no idea where that other guy just came out of. I ain't gonna lie. I think- I think I actually just gave birth, right? Is that what happened? Did I just genuinely give birth right there? I mean, I just- like, he wasn't on the map, right? Where the fuck did he come from? I went around? Where the fuck did he come from? Fuck you. Fuck you. I like how he just let me snap. Oh, what the hell? Whoa! What? That was the- wait! Was that the guy- did I- didn't I snap that guy's neck? Bro, this game wild. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that was- that was pretty- that was menacing right there. Where are you, old friend? Ah! 
How do you do damage with a kick when I was in front of him? Or behind him, I mean. That was kind of... Oh, Kareem! Where's Kareem? Is Kareem okay? I hope he's okay. I kind of like Kareem. He's pretty dope. I reckon I couldn't find Zara inside. The building looks empty, though. There's an underground level. Maybe he's down there. There's an underground level. Oh. Uh, boys. I don't care if he's crazy or not. I just don't want him pissed off at me. Boys. 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 It's about to be a shootout. Give me your gun. Gang, gang on me with my rifle. What? Come on. Wasn't that a headshot? Uh oh. Nope. 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 Didn't happen. How are these bullets missing? This thing is not accurate. Oh, just shoot your st shot, stupid. Stop being a pussy. That guy better be dead. I probably should heal. Shoot his hand. Oh, I did! I shot his hand! How? Oh my god, do you honestly could like I don't think anyone in their right mind could have survived this many bullets. You would not be holding on to that gun anymore. Come on. Yeah, fuck you. Fucking oh my god. No, not more. Die. Fuck you. God damn. I can check him for semen. I got a lot of semen on them. I guess that's everything. Okie dokie. Who is it? Who's there? Blackstock, it's me. Green. Thank God. Listen, this is important. I'm not safe anymore, obviously. But my research must not die with me. You're not gonna die, Doc, but right now we have to get out of here. So please, lower your voice. Oh, oh, yes. All right. But understand. My research, it must reach Dr. Camden. That's why I gave the packages to Jade. I know you said you would deliver them, but she was there, and time being of the essence. Doc? So, it takes no more than a false hope of rescue to loosen the good doctor's lips. Hunt the scorpion down, spare no resource. With pleasure. And these two? What should we do with them? You'll never find her. Never. And I'll never talk. You'll get nothing from me. I am less concerned with making you talk, Doctor, than I am in preventing your escape. <laughs> Sadistic fuck, he's an old man. Give the doctor some first aid. And take Crane to the pit. God damn! Why are they gonna do Zara like that? Oh, yep. Oh, I just I I spawned with my. <laughs> Down Zara, but before I could get him out of there, Rice ambushed us. I'm not sure what Rice has planned for us, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's not gonna be pleasant. Didn't he? Isn't he taking us to the pit? Am I gonna duke it out with uh, muscular men? I hope so. Oh, you're not the muscular man I wanted. Fuck you. You're gay. Stand him up. Oh, shit. Doc. You come to us like a snake in the grass. Here, in a city of lies. You are the biggest liar of them all. What are you talking about? Answer me, motherfucker! Yes. Lose control. That is what you Americans are so good at, after all. If I 
Tony, you're not wrong. Oh. Not bad. We're out the corpses. Leave, Crane. Yes, sir. Was that supposed to be uh, proving to me that you're a badass? Oh man, you shot your own guys. Wow. Oh, what a badass. Yes, lose control. Shoot your own men. Yes. That proves a very major point. I don't have anything. I have a pipe. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Fuck you. Huh. Uh, oh, boys, you know it's, oh wait, I should take these too. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Firecrackers. What about, okay, so I got, oh. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Improvise, adapt, overcome. What? What? Oh. Oh, is it because there's water here? Why, why isn't my firecrackers working? That's some racism. Oh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. Snapper neck. Oh, oh, back up. Snap his neck. Finish her off. Hell yeah. Now you can't tell me I'm not badass, right? You can't do it. Impossible. Oh, this guy's still left. Watch this shit. Well, now watch this shit. Break his knee. Break his knees. Finish him off. Uh, fucking badass. Uh, fucking brother. Word of your feet here will spread. Such a shame you'll be a corpse by then. Is this your first feeble attempt at controlling your own destiny, Crane? Too little, too late, I fear. Impressive for a walking dead man. Is this the machete you used to cut that man's hand off? Uh oh. I don't like the way that thing's dropping. Oh god, here we go. Oh my god! You want a tango, brother? No, oh, fuck me. Oh! No, fuck, he had another one. God damn it. Yeah, fuck you too. Where the fuck's it? Fuck's up thing. Oh shit. There's a thing, right? There should be a thing, right? Where's the thing? The thing was supposed to be here. There's the thing. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Oh. oh fuck, I don't need this right now. Boys, you will not believe the shit I had to go through. 
Too bad it's a one-time performance. Fuck you. This will only prolong the inevitable. But try to make the best of it, man. Ugh. <sighs> Oh fucking Let Christ! No one say I never gave you anything, Where the hell did it go? I saw you drop it, you fucker. There it is. That fucking pee pee head. God, I hate this mission. Your skills no longer come as a surprise, Crane. The GRE selects its operatives well. <sighs> Shit. Lower the platform. Otherwise, is the sheerest folly. Allow me to demonstrate. Bassam, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Publish the file. Right away, sir. And there. Easy you, there. Dick. you just doomed thousands of innocent people. That's what you get with your fucking chaos. You don't know what was on that file, do you, Crane? You only proved my point for me. The GRE plans to weaponize the virus, not cure it. They're only interested in profit, not saving lives. And by following their rules, you have become their trained monkey. Pathetic. All right. Kill him. Not up in here, bitch! That's right! I showed that kind of accuracy in the in the fucking parking garage. Doc, come on, let's get you out of here. Green, save these people. They don't deserve all of this. You, give me that torch. <laughs> Green! What are you swine waiting for? Shoot him! I'm sorry, Doc. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, I it looks like it's time to skedatter, boys. Da -na 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 -na. Nope, nope, nope. You can't shoot me. You can't shoot me. Oh, I was supposed to. Skedatter under there. Uh, oh my god. Kobe. Woo! You can't shoot for shit! Okay, maybe you can. Ow! Fuck. Nope, climb crate. Oh my god. Woo! Hello! Shit. Almost got me. Almost got me. I think they're shooting you with an RPG. <gasps> no. Oh, oh, don't fail me now. Woo! What a balance beam. Let's go. Fuck. How many guys are there? Uh, uh, oh, there, oh, it's another balance beam. It's another balance beam. Oh, I fucked it. Oh my god, I have three health. Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought it was. Oh, 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 oh. You can't touch my toes. Oh my god. Oh my, if I survive this, I'm a god. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Oh. Huh. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, there's Zambers down here. Oh. I think it drowned. Uh. I mean, I don't really have weapons right now, so I'll try my best to not die. Whew. Oh, I don't need this right now. Don't kill me, please. Don't tickle my toes. Oh, I think I was supposed to go through the doorway. My, my apologies. Here we go. 
the hell's down there? I don't know. I think it was supposed to go up, though. Oh. What, what was that message? Oh. I just got a weird... It was like... Did you see that? It was like a weird thing. I thought it was like telling me to... I found a way out of the arena. Now I gotta haul ass back to Brecken. But Zara... He didn't make it. He said he gave his research to Jade before Rice grabbed him, so... There might still be a shred of hope for a cure. I don't know, fam. Unless Jade is, you know... In cahoots. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she's like, oh, I don't wanna fucking... I don't know. My head. Can you stop having seizures, Crane? We're gonna die. I don't know if you know this, boys. But, uh... If you see in the top left corner, that's how many times I died. I lost that many uh, survivor points trying to do the pit. Because... I forgot that they fucking buffed the hell out of the demolisher that I was fighting. And, yeah, it just... It, it took me a lot of tries. Because I kept accidentally breaking my weapons too much to the point where they kind of became obsolete. And since I'm playing on a hard difficulty, you literally can only take, like two hits before he can like kill you pretty much so yeah that's that that's kind of what i was dealing with in there and i cut it all out because i was struggling buggling with it also I, I i realized i can't sprint and i don't have any of my shit not so, now. Oh, please not now uh, we're, we're we're in a we're in a pickle right now let's let's just put it at that we're we're, at, we're in a seriously a hardcore pickle right now like, crunchy style, I guess. I don't know. I don't normally eat pickles, so. Oh my god, I can't sprint. Good thing I can still climb, though. Okay, if you can... Like, I feel like climbing takes more stamina than running. I'm just saying. How am I able to, like, climb on these things and not be able to sprint? Oh god. 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 Come here. You little bitch. No. Oh! Don't have a seizure right now! Crane! We're gonna die! Crane! Stop! Where'd you go? Oh fuck. Yeah, that's right. That's what you get. I kick you. You gonna fight me? Yeah, fuck you. I don't wanna deal with your ass. Crane, you need to stop having seizures, fam. Yeah, you see those seizures right there? Just stop. Stop! My head. Sarah. Sarah's dead. Good. We didn't like him anyway. I'm just kidding. I feel bad. Oh. to hide you at the pier. Half of Rice's men are after you. Whatever you've done, it's really put them on the warpath. I have to talk to Jade. Zara, he gave her his research. She took it to Camden. Well, she tried to. Camden radioed that Rice's thugs had found his lab. So he flooded it with biters and barricaded himself in the middle. Now he's trapped. Then the connection failed. We haven't been able to raise him since. I'm going after her. I wish she'd getting in. That part of town is sealed off. There's a group called the Saviors that smuggles people through. They have a den at Nico's bar in the cauldron near the highway. The contact's name is Jenk. Do, do you have enough runners to cover airdrops? The airdrops stopped 36 hours ago. There won't be any more. We're out of time, Crane. Shit. All right. I don't know if I can fix this, but I'm sure as hell gonna try. You know. Most men in your situation will crawl into a hole and hide. Hats off to you, mate, and good luck. Hell yeah. I learned the best from- I, I learned everything I- Hey, Crane. Oh. Here's your gear. Best regards from Kareem. <laughs> Kareem, huh? Well, if you see him, thank him for me. I knew Kareem would come through for me! Hell yeah, brother! Also, the door literally shut. I was gonna say something to him, but I guess he doesn't want none of my business. Okay, so... Let's sell all this bullshit that I acquired in the arena. 
because I'm probably not going to use it. Except for the firecrackers. And the medkit and shit. I'll use that. Oh, I just realized I had that medkit. Shit. I, I literally... I could have healed myself at, like, that three health, and then I would have avoided... Nah, but I'm, I'm more of a badass. See, you, you know, I'm just, I'm just a badass. Let's see what these crayons are all about. And also, there's people at the school that I didn't go check out, so... What's up, brother? I just want to talk. Try listening. The first bullet goes over your head. The next one goes through it. Stop it, Edward. You don't want to scare off someone who might be willing to help us. We don't know this arsehole from a plate of falafel. Don't argue with me. Let him in. Seems Errol wants to talk to you. There won't be any trouble. Do I look worried? Scared to death. He's perceptive. Come in. Come in. I'm just here for some crayons. I'm Errol. Kyle Crane. This is my niece, Salier, and her son, Aaron. Do forgive Edward, but he's completely right to be worried. We are being pursued by some very ruthless men. There's something oddly familiar about you. There should be. The campaign spent a lot of money putting my face all over town. Of course, you're Errol Asani, governor of the province. Governor of nothing, but Rise has decided that any political figure is a threat to him. So he's ordered my execution. They nearly killed me once already. That's how I lost my leg. And it seems they haven't given up. A squad of his thugs has tracked me to my last safe house in the slabs. Edward was just there. He says they're searching the area. It's only a matter of time before they show up here. Oh, sounds like you got quite a problem. I would pay you very well to resolve it. Hey, you know, people say that a lot to me. Trust me. What I can offer you can't be found anywhere else, at any price. And I'll think about it. I mean, I'm already working for one political figure. Might as well start with two. I'm just saying, brothers. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Now, I do believe... <gasps> Crayons! Crayons for the kids. For the kids. For the kids. Okay, we got crayons now. Ow, fuck. I'm getting chased. Fuck you. I don't even think she knows what to do anymore. Oh, there's a dude in trouble. Dude, that was pretty badass. You gotta you got admit, that was pretty fucking badass. I forget what you did. Yeah, you better not forget what I just did. Holy shit. If I saw someone drop from like two stories and like drop kick two zombies out of the way, I'd be like, you know what? That's a man right there. <laughs> Let's go turn in these kids for crayons. Or wait, crayons for kids. <laughs> wait a second. Oh wait, there's actually like little a side mission. The little ones are starting to get bored, and the last thing we need is a pack of kids crying and throwing tantrums. Some crayons would really help them pass the time. Jade thinks there might be some left in the school. If you do find some, please bring them to me. Thanks, Kate. Oh hey, what's up, Kate? You found some crayons. Oh, fantastic! You're the best. The kids are gonna lose their minds. But in a good way. Here, take this. You'll make better use of it than I will. Just give me twelve hundred dollars. Um. Well, what I was gonna say is like pretty much like all the women besides Jade that you see have like their hair like almost buzz cut, and I was like wondering if that was like sort of like a game choice for like oh there's zombies and you don't want your hair to get grabbed, or is that just like a hairstyle that they that they usually wear? That was interesting to me. I don't know. Yeah, because even Lena, she has like... It's not like buzz buzz cut, but she has like the, the short hair. So I was wondering if that was just like a actual... Taking note that like your hair... Could easily get grabbed by a zombie or more just like... That's just the, the, the style of the... The time. I don't know. Hmm. 
A word from your gas master, A Afra. You all need precious gas to run your stupid stoves. Well, my butane supplies are running out. Without my gas, you're going to be eating a lot of cold soup and whatever else you can't make without heat. I didn't say that right, but you know what I mean. If you like your stoves to heat things, then you'd better turn over any butane you find a Togar. You will be paid with something. Well, I want to know what that something is. I think I turned in some lighter gas, but I don't think I had enough. Man, it's like really dark. I appreciate that. Like, nighttime is fucking nighttime. And I'm also, like, one of those people that, like... I turn my gamma up. Turn your gamma up! Because, like... I don't know. I want to be able to see some things. What's up, brothers? I have your hooks. Ha, incredible! We have underestimated him. Well, we can hardly be blamed for that. Look at him! Are we done? You're done. We have work to do. And when we're finished, we'll leave some zip lines up for you. Yes, we know how you primates like to swing from the vines. Did you just call me a monkey? I mean, I can't argue with that. I do like the zip lines. Close by. Oh, is it at the. Oh, you're right. I forgot about Dahlia, the, the witch. You're right. There's missions here that I can do. So, at last you are here. What's up, Dahlia? I sent for you days ago. Are you always so slow? Yes. Perhaps you are resistant to my summons. Good. The strong ones are more difficult, but always so much more worthwhile. You must be the witch. Such prideful contempt. But of course you do not believe in such things. Look, I'm here because I've been told that you... That you have an ability. You want to know how I walk among the Immortui without drawing their attack. Is that not so? Huh? Is it possible? For you? No. You are far too crude and ignorant to obtain such deep knowledge. But there is another way. Something I could make for you. It's fine. I'd be willing to trade. You are only here because I wish it. And it is my wish that you have this ability. You will need it to be of service to me. Tonight, you will go to the caves while the volatiles are out hunting. Collect as many black mushrooms as you can carry. And I will use them to prepare a tincture for you. That is all I require from you. For now. So wait, you want me to just get high on some shrooms? I mean, I could do that. And actually, all in all honesty, I mean, I don't, I mean, we're only like five parts in. So honestly, I could, I could do some of these. I want to do this one because these are actually quite interesting. They're fun. So bear with me. Uh, it should, I mean, I could just cut out to like the, the boring parts, but you pretty much just like, she has like, I think three or four of these and it's pretty much just a bunch of like collecting missions, but it, it doesn't take that long and it's, it's worth it because, um, you do get to learn about the, the fucking camouflage and shit like that. Also, there's a package. Pro tip, I'm pretty sure if you save and quit the game and come back here, this package always respawns. So you can get a free one. Pro tip. Oh shit. There's another zombie hiding behind me. Got any shrooms, bro? Oh wait. Shrooms. Give me your shrooms. I bust up in your place and still oh wait, I missed some. I'm glad they actually, like, you know, light them up with a beacon of light so that way I don't miss them. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm that type of guy. I'll just, like, miss things right in front of me. Snap. I don't got time for that. Shrooms. Shrooms. 
I don't think Dahlia always requires you to go at night, but this one's literally like 10 feet away from her. Oh, also, um, let me know if you want me to do any of the quarantines. I think some of them are more fun than the others. This tincture will give you some ability to be among the Immortui. It will not last long, and it may disturb your senses. Solutions of greater potency can be prepared, but they will require more powerful agents and greater risk. Now, you are ready to serve me. What do you want? From you? Why, nothing at all. I will never ask anything of you, runner. You may go about your business and do exactly as you think you should. A man of free will. But the truth is that you will always be doing my bidding. Even now, you are under my complete control. Whatever you say, fam. I will summon you again when the time comes. Go now. Enjoy your illusion of freedom. You may leave, but we are not done. You will be back. Let's see what this is about. What the? What's wrong with me? Oh, no, my controls are inverted. My controls are inverted. Yep, this is the one that the, okay, yep, I have to, I have to hold backwards to go forward, and forwards to go backwards, and then left, right is the, oh god, oh god. Maybe Fuck. a stronger elixir would have fewer side effects. Okay, alright, we're back to normal. <laughs> but yeah, those are fun, so like, you actually get the blueprint for the potion, so like, I think you just have to pick up shrooms, like the fluorescent shrooms around the map, to like, make it. But yeah, you could literally just like make a potion that inverts your controls. That's why I like doing this mission because it's. So, you are ready to try a more powerful elixir. It will make you more useful to me, but it will require agents of greater potency. Just tell me what you need, Dahlia. Bring me the liver of a powerful Immortui. It must be a giant of great physical strength. Return when you have what I need. Hunting the goons. Goons! Uh, so I guess I gotta find a, a heavy, or a goon, whatever the fuck they're called. I think there's ones that reside on the bridge, if I'm not mistaken. Attention! Attention! Since you cannot hear dog whistles, we are forced to communicate with you directly. You are ordered to come immediately. This is Crane. Is that you, Tolga? Uh, he wants to talk to us. Well, I don't want to talk to him. I repeat, you are ordered to come immediately. That is all. Shut off the radio. <gasps> right. Oh, boys. I, I just threw a zombie in the fucking thing. <laughs> I don't know you can do that. Okay, all right. I'll probably continue with the Toga and Fatin missions later. I think this is probably actually going to be like half this is going to definitely be the side quest video. Just because we have time. I mean, I think... Oh, at least I'm going to get up here so I don't die. Uh, 38%, yeah. So we're, 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 we're trucking along and this is only, I think, part five that's today. So, give me a second to loot up, brothers. Okay, got the got the liver. Where the hell did my bolts go? I think I hear a fucking dude behind me. Yeah, he's coming. Where the hell is my other bolt, though? I thought I shot another one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, sometimes I miss a lot. That's not what I want to do. I want to do this. Okay. Alright, back to Dahlia we go. <laughs> the 
Is the body still here? No, they're not. Damn. <laughs> I didn't know. I wasn't ready for them to come around the corner. I was like, I have an idea. What if I threw zombies in here? Yes, that's it. Let me see it. What terrible strength this creature wields. Perfect. Oh. Consuming this elixir may have consequences. Then again, it may not. If you think your system can endure more powerful agents, I can produce elixirs of still greater potency. I will summon you again when the time comes. <laughs> Okie dokie. And that time comes when I drink this. What does this one do? I forget. What? Oh Damn. no! Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm literally going this slow. I'm, I swear to god, I'm literally going this slow. <laughs> Crane, get up there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, that almost worked. Maybe I should let Dahlia try again. I don't know, fam. I feel like she's just trying to kill us. We are under her, in parentheses, control, as she says. I call and you come. And so quickly now. You are developing very nicely for me. You are ready to endure more powerful elixirs? I'll take all the edge I can get. Now tell me what you need. My elixirs affect the mind of the Immortui. And what is in the mind? is first in the blood so i must have what is in their blood bring me the kidney from the erupting one that sacrifices its body in attack oh great now i gotta find a bomb oh wait i already have a bomb or kidney well hell yeah once more you have done my bidding give it to me there well that was easy <laughs> take it my power grows as you become useful and I can create mixtures of even greater potency. When you are ready, I will create them for you. Guess she doesn't have words of wisdom this time. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we got, brothers. I survived the night. That's good. Hey, I think it worked. Oh no! Good. Oh this no! Good at all. Oh my God! We're in Australia. Oh no! Oh, is this how you people see? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh my god! I can't! I can't do this! Oh, get up there! Oh my god! This is so mind fucking! Oh no! Oh my! Oh man! Oh man! Whoa! Oh whoa! Right, I'll give her one more chance. Wowzers! I can't believe I actually killed an infected by doing it in that state of mind. Holy shit! Dude, that was a wild ride. What kind of shrooms did you put in that one? Will your presence, and you are here within minutes. Perfect. Dahlia, the elixirs are working, but I need one with no side effects. And you shall have it. But how quickly you have adapted. This would not be possible if you had not already been bitten. You are closer to them than you think. I'm taking care of it. With your antizen, such a feeble mixture. Just tell me what I need to bring you. I will put my thought into your mind. You don't control me, Dahlia. No, of course. I am just a foolish old woman. Now think, and tell me what you believe I will need. Look, it's not hard to guess. Your distillations affect the pattern recognition processes of the Immortui. So, now I assume you want a brain. Probably from one of the stronger ones. Yes. From a bolter. And you simply guess this? Well, if it gives you some comfort, so be it. Now go. Return when you have what I need. I'm pretty sure I just have 200 IQ. 
And also, I already have a bolter tissue from helping Doc earlier, so. The brain of a bolter. Excellent. Take it. It is the most powerful elixir I can make for you. I actually like the last one, though. That was a wild ride. I ain't gonna lie. That was pretty fun. Uh, Cloak Potion. I'm assuming because it's called Cloak Potion, we'll probably, uh, it'll work. Especially since there's really no more special infected we could even kill anymore, so. I think we've got a winner. Dahlia, we did it. You're a genius. Of course. It was the bolter that was the secret ret to the Krabby Patty secret formula. Finally. This is going to be very useful. Your transformation is complete. You are now the tool of Dahlia. I have many tasks for you. Many things you will do. Many enemies you will kill. Goodbye, Dahlia. Where are you going? I command you to stay. You cannot resist my will. You are my pawn. You must go as I say. I'm a free man. That didn't sound good. Oh, hey, and there's the dude. What, Atoll was his name? Um, I honestly probably can leave a lot of, uh, of this shit in and probably even do, like, part of the next main story or something. So obviously I'm probably not going to leave in all this back and forth because that's kind of boring. I just want to do the Dahlia mission because it's fun. And also, we got a lot of time, honestly. But let's continue on with Toga and Fatin's story because they're kind of funny. Hey, boys. What are we into this time? Do you understand what a battery is? Tolga, you're overwhelming him. <sighs> Inside the engine compartment of a bus is a heavy rectangle. I know what a battery is. <sighs> okay. We need bus batteries with marine-grade plates. And rated at 1300 CCA or better. CCA means cold cranking amps. Obviously. That's a pretty big battery. Yes, easily 50 to 55 kilograms each. That's equal to uh, several large rocks. He's American. The metric system makes him angry. We will need three of them. Oh, <laughs> you can use your brute strength. We know you primitives are keen to show how strong you are, to demonstrate physical prowess. You think it will attract females? Ugly and stupid. What else does he have? Oh, how does he live like that? Who knows? You have your instructions. Go do your uh, interpretation of them. <laughs> the, the metric system makes him angry. He's American. <laughs> oh, fucking kilograms. Fucking. You're supposed to be speaking in pounds, brother. Oh, I speak in pounds, brother. Brother. I'm just kidding. Actually, as far as the metric system, um, at least temperature-wise, uh, Celsius, to me, and how I interpret it, Celsius makes sense for science, scientific purposes as in measurements, and, and how water freezes or boils. Fahrenheit should be used in any country to talk about body temperature. That makes the most sense. Because... In terms of how hot it is, when you say it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit, it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit compared to people's bodies. Not like in terms of like, okay, that's how cold water would get or how warm water would get. So now I make that, make your, your own interpretation. So personally for me, I, I honestly wouldn't care what you use, but if you speak to me as in like, how cold is it outside and you say some bullshit like fucking 20 degrees celsius i might actually like turn a head on you like that makes no sense to me oh no fuck this shit i think the other guy <gasps> okay i need bus batteries right easy win I might, I might do like some side missions off camera, 
I obviously like Toga and Fatine's mission because they're, I don't know, the way they talk is funny. What's up, bro? There's got there your, your batteries. batteries. We had to check them for bite marks. <laughs> well done. Ah, no problems with the counting part of the mission? How much more do you need to do on this project of yours? None of your business. Goodbye. What do you mean it's none of my business? Okay. So. Alright, I did some extra side shit. I don't know if you, uh, I'm sure you'll find out that I did that shit, but I'm, I'm back with Toga and Fatine because I like Good them. Good to see you again, Mr. Uh, what's his name? Crane, like the mindless machine that lifts heavy things. Just tell me what you need and I'll be on my way. <sighs> duct tape. Uh, cables. We need ten rolls of duct tape. No, we need ten power cables. Duct tape. Cables. Duct tape. Cables, duct tape. Look, I get it. You need both. Precisely. Precisely. And that concludes talking to you. Get going. Well, it's a good thing I so happen to have 10 duct tape and 10 power cables. 10 rolls of duct tape, 10 cables. You've done well, Simeon. You are performing far beyond your capabilities. Of course, they say to improve your game, you should play with someone better than yourself. Clearly, contact with Tolga and I has significantly increased your intelligence. So, you are welcome. <sighs> One more task and we will be done. What do you need? There is a military base on the other side of the Collapse Bridge. You will zip line across to it. Using the borrowed intelligence we have imbued you with, you will find a military-grade mobile sonar unit. Bring it to us. Bring it to us. Mr. Dahl will want to see you as well, so please, use some deodorant, and try not to drool on yourself so much. Alright, get going. Watching you is painful. Is that moss growing on you again? Start moving! Maybe he'll move if we look away. General relativity states that all things are in motion, but somehow, you are not! 200 IQ out here, brothers. I mean, honestly, I do want to actually go across the bridge. Let's go across the bridge. I'll show you guys across the bridge. Cut to me going across the bridge. We're going in. Where the fuck is your shit? So did they just, like, execute people as they were going through? That's some wild shit. Ooh, medkits. Oh damn, I just shoved it on the table. Not on my Dell laptop. Yeah, fuck you. Give me galls. There's like medical supplies here. Yeah, there's like a lot of med medical supplies. If you want to stock up on med kits and shit, I'd go here. Also, there's a lot of like vans, police vans and stuff on this bridge too. That has like weapons and shit. But they're like, oh man. I just stuck his ass. That you, that has, it's like a very hard lock pick. But like it usually has some good shit. So you'd have to clear out the area first to get it. Ah, there it is. Tolga, Got it's Crane. It. I have your sonar unit. Sonar? Oh, we don't need that now. Huh? Who told you we needed it now? Where did you get this idea? Get off my radio, Fatin. Uh, just let me know when you need it. Crane out. You telling me you don't need this shit no more, brothers? After all the shit I went through to get it? Dude, that's called skill. Picking the lock right as you're about to get attacked by a Zamber. 
Actually, I might keep that. That's not bad. Especially since I can make... I think I have a legendary one in my bag still. I don't really use weapons. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. I should probably skedatter. Cut to me going back to the place. To the place I belong. West Virginia. Ooh. I hope I don't kill myself by jumping in the water. Because I've actually done that at least like three times while playing this game right now. Hence why my survivor points keep going down if you notice in the corner. I literally was doing a mission where there were, you had to get like this dude's camera from like the back of his car that was on the bridge. And um, as I hit it, I was getting chased by zombies. And I was like, oh shit, got to jump with it because it's going off the bridge. I jumped literally right on top of it as it was falling. So I killed myself. Because, like, the, the car splashed into the water and, like, became a solid object. And then I, I landed on it and died. If that doesn't describe to you how my gameplay is, I mean, I don't know what. Sadly, I wasn't recording because I was just doing the fucking side mission thing. But, yeah, it was pretty pathetic. I ain't gonna lie. It's just been a rough one tonight. I don't know. I I think I'm just, like, I'm not in the groove of things. And I've just been dying, doing stupid shit. And then it just kind of, like... I'm just, like, I'm not disappointed in the game. I'm just disappointed in myself half the time. Hey, friend. Over here. Oh, hey. Yo, what up, brothers? I'm here. What do you want? I'm looking for the saviors. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm one of Brecken's men from the tower. Don't care where you're from. Get your ass out of here or I'll stop being so fucking polite. Listen, I know you're smuggling people out of the slums. There's a girl who came through. Jade? I think you better get the hell out of here. No, just listen. I cut Rise up and now his whole goddamn gang is after me. I could use some cooperation here. You? You're the one who chopped Rice's hand off? Yeah, and now I have to get to Sector Zero. What's your name? Crane. Well, Crane, you're in for some heartbreak if you think going to Sector Zero will get you off Rice's shit list, but wait here. Um I got a guy here who claims he's the one who took Rice's hand off. Crane. Yeah, that's what he said. You? Are you sure? Huh. Okay. Nice. You know, it probably wasn't a good idea to give Come them here. my name, I'm just saying. Okay, we'll get you to the other side. All right, when? Right now. And what about payment? What you did to Rice. That's more than enough payment for us. Go to the collapsed tunnel that led to Old Town. Knock at the door that leads to the sewers. Someone will take good care of you. Will do. Thanks. Nah, man. Thank you. Alrighty then, my tater chips. That's gonna do it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed that. I guess, uh, I wanted to do a few of the side quests because I, I noticed that, like, we're already going to Sector Zero, and this is going to literally be, like, Part 5. I'm like, I kind of want to drag it out a little bit. Like, I don't want to, like, finish a game in, like, I don't know, less than 10 parts. Because at this rate, I mean, I probably could, like, literally just grind through the story. Unless that's what you want, but I, I, I want to, like explore a little bit too and stuff like that and do all the the side stuff i kind of like dahlia's missions because they were you know you could craft like dumb things to enjoy when you're playing the game or whatever like literally you could just invert your screen and it's it's fun i don't know anyway we'll get back to the main story in the next one so let's continue our journey of zombie hype in the next one Hope to see y'all there.